What's going on everyone? It's Wave of Wire Queen. You're in the right place if you love fantasy football. Today I'm going to give you three tight ends who I consider my faves and who I normally prioritize in my drafts. In fact, one of these guys I was able to pick up on the Wave of Wire. Yes, that's why they call me Wave of Wire Queen. But before we jump into that, y'all hit the like button to make the YouTube algorithm go crazy. And so you can see more fantasy football videos so I can help you get ready for the 2021 season so you can stay ahead of your competition because we're trying to win all our leagues in 2021. All right, my first favorite tight end, TJ Hawkinson. Yes, the young stud on the Detroit Lions. You know why he's going to have a... Hell of a season, and you should prioritize him because who else is uh, Jared Goff throwing the, the football to? Okay, he's going to be his number one target in the 2021 season. He is going to finish in the top 10. He may end up finishing top five, depending on what they do out there, depending on if Jared Goff is going to, you know, be a little more accurate than he was during the 2020 season, but you know. We don't know, but he's definitely going to be solid. He had over 700 yards uh, this past season, um, even though quarterback play was a, a bit inconsistent. He's going to be he's going to be really good. So if you can't get the top guys, because obviously we know who the top two are, and then we know that after those two guys are off the board, then you have Waller, and then you'll have um, Andrews, and you're gonna draft Hawkinson's you can't get the two the top two dogs can't get Kelsey and you can't get um Kittle you can always get this young man draft him with confidence and know that you're going to be set for the 2021 season fantasy wise he is definitely going to finish top 10 easily and possibly top five because he will be Jared Goff's main target all right y'all another tight end i really like have him in the league actually drafted him Irv smith jr yes this young man is going to to eat this season he's going to eat he's going to have a solid season yes kurt cousins is going to be throwing him the ball he's going to be the the third option obviously however he is going to get the football he only had over 300 uh, receiving yards during the 2020 season. Rudolph is no longer in the building, so it's his job, and he is going to perform well. I can see the Vikings down in games, and Kirk Cousins is going to be throwing that football, and he's going to be throwing that football not only to Thielen and Jefferson. However, it's going to be Smith, too. Smith is going to be in the mix. And so he's not going to be one of the top five guys picked tight ends, but he will finish in the top 10 with tight ends after the 2021 season is over. So prioritize him. He may end up in that 500 to 600 receiving yard range, and he's going to get four to five touchdowns. So that's solid. For a tight end, we all know it's the top guys. Then you have that second tier, which is not as deep. And so getting him, to me, is a steal because it's the top two guys and then pretty much everyone else, you know. And we've been waiting for Smith to get his opportunity to be the starting tight end on the Vikings. And guess what? That time has come. So if you have him and you've been patient, guess what? Your patience is going to pay off. I'll tell you this. I have I had him in two leagues. I only have him in one because I wasn't patient. Let him go. And now somebody else is going to benefit off of me not being patient and letting him go. So be patient. It's going down in 2021 for uh, Smith. He's going to have his best season statistically with the Vikings. My third favorite uh, tight end, Logan Thomas with the Washington football team. I have to think about the name of that team first before I, I say the name because I'm, I still want to call them the Redskins or I want to call them 
something else, but it's the wash. It's Washington football team. Yes. But anyways, Logan Thomas, he had a solid season. What did he do? He had over, he had over 600 yards, almost 700 receiving yards on a team, three quarterbacks, and they all were inconsistent and, and, and none of them were good enough to be starting quarterbacks. So just imagine what he's going to do with, um, Fitz Magic, and I know, guys, you're going to say he's not even a starting quarterback. He's going to throw that football and is going to get Logan Thomas the ball. So Logan Thomas may end up with 700 um, receiving yards. I know they've added Curtis Samuels. Ryan Fitzpatrick is going to throw the football. So Logan Thomas, obviously, you're not prioritizing him early, but you will be able to pick him up. He's going to finish top 10 this season. I remember when I picked him up on uh, the wa the waiver wire. Yep, I picked him up on the waiver wire. And Thomas ended up, you know, being a starting tight end. And he had a solid season. Unexpected. Um, last season throughout, I kept saying, prioritize him. If you can pick him up, pick him up, pick him up, pick him up. And everyone who listened to me, picked him up and he was solid. So if you're in a two tight end league, he may not be your tight end one, but he can be a solid tight end two. And let's face it, it's the top guys and then everyone else. So if you can't get those top two and then you're, not, you're unable to get the second group or pits, then prioritize Logan Thomas and load up on the other positions and you will see the production from Logan Thomas still. So he's not a scrub, or at least they make sure they, they involve him. So I don't see that changing. I see it being better because I feel like Ryan Fitzpatrick is better than um, the three guys they had last season. So you should see better results from Thomas and, and, and Curtis it's going to be a much better season for everyone over there with Washington football team, even though they're not going to finish number one in the NFC East. That's another, that's another argument there. All right, y'all, let me know who are your favorite tight ends that you love to target in fantasy football if you are unable to get the top guys, because let's face it, they're either going in the second round or the third round. I, I watched... I watched somebody draft um, Kittles in the first round in one league, and I'm like, okay, that was a bit early, but hey, you know, everybody has a strategy on how, the, how they build their team. All right, y'all, hit that like button. Leave some comments. I'll definitely comment back. Hit the subscribe button and follow Waver Wire Queen on Facebook, IG, Twitter, and TikTok. And again, Hit that like button if you love fantasy football and you want to see more fantasy football videos. Y'all have a great evening. Peace.